Good morning, everybody. Or Jay here with another War of the Visions video, and it's time to start making some videos about level 120 Tifa. And with all the talk going around about critical damage right now, about like which version of the Kaiser Knuckles is better, the Assault or the Crit, I was like, you know what? The first video I want to make about 120 Tifa is I want to test out an actual maxed out Assault Kaiser Knuckle versus a maxed out Critical Hit Kaiser Knuckle. See what the difference is and see which one's better so you guys know which one to make because that's not the easiest quest to farm so if you're farming it the first time don't waste your recipes until you watch this video let's check it out Okay, so let me explain how I have the test set up here. I'm going to have Tifa punching Cloud. The reason I'm going to have Tifa punching Cloud is, one, you're going to see Cloud a lot, and Cloud is neutral to strike, so it's just a nice neutral target for her to punch. I've geared him out with Esper's vision cards and gear that you're probably going to see on Cloud every once in a while. It's just sort of a standard setup. Then I'm simulating Cloud with Charlotte and Frederica. Frederica's Dream and Igion are not going to affect Tifa's damage at all because she's only getting missile attack and slash attack from those two. So it's just going to be this Cloud getting punched by Tifa. Now, Tifa, I'm going to have her run with like 2B in her simulated group for the first test, for the first couple of tests. I'm not going to have 2B wear her vision card because her vision card, if we look at it, gives wind allies critical damage up that will affect the formula and we will test that in like the second round of testing so i'm gonna have tifa with her vision card her vision card gives strike attack wind evasion up area attack resist up attack evasion hp missile attack resist i mean this crit damage does not apply to her it's only for cloud so it's just a nice baseline for tifa for the first test, I'm actually going to have her wear her plus 5 Assault Kaiser Knuckle. As you can see, I have a plus 5 all the way maxed out. We're going to go ahead and equip that. Then, I also have, for the second test, a plus 5 Critical Knuckle, all stats maxed out. What I want to point out here with the Kaiser Knuckle that makes it a little bit different than some other pieces of gear is look at the crit here. The Critical plus 5 has 144 attack. The Assault plus 5 goes up to 180, so it is a big increase in attack, but the attack on the crit version is not terrible. Some critical pieces of gear have like 80 attack on them or something like that. In that case, generically, I would recommend going with the Assault, but let's test out the Kaiser Knuckle specifically here, because that's what we're testing, and we're testing it for Tifa. So we'll start with the Assault, let's jump into the battle. Alright, so here's Tifa, just with the Assault Knuckles, and we're going to test out three different moves. First, Basic Attack. That's going to do 1,556 damage. We are also going to look at how much damage her Limit Break can do, 4,505, and we're going to look at her uh, bigger attacks here, Omni Strike. If we look at Omni Strike, this is a large damage, physical barrier destroying attack. That will do 4,645. So let's write those damage numbers down. Let's put them on the screen. Then let's switch to the crit version and see what losing that attack actually costs us in like basic damage. Okay, now Tifa has the crit gauntlet equipped right now, which has lowered her overall attack, which will lower the, the overall, like, floor of her damage. So if she does not crit with the crit glove on, her basic attack will hit for $14.99. That is a 57 less damage, or about 3.6% less damage than the assault gauntlet. Her limit break will hit for... 4340, which is 165 less damage, which again is about a 3.6 to 4% less damage. And then Omni Strike will hit for 4476, which is 169 less damage, which again is about a 3.6% decrease in damage. Now that's if she doesn't crit, because here's the thing to think about here. When you switch to the crit gauntlet, you are lowering both the floor and the ceiling on your damage by lowering that overall attack modifier so in the case of these gauntlets on tifa it looks like it's about a just less than four percent decrease in damage now what happens if you crit okay let's go ahead let's go back to basic attack and let's swing at cloud and you know we have a higher chance of crit so let's see if we do it boom 1836 
That is a 280 point increase in damage, which is a massive 18% increase. Now, that's with basic attacks. Because of the way the formula, like, the formula works out, the higher damage attack, you're going to get a smaller um, percentage increase from crit. So let's demonstrate that with her limit break next. Now, hopefully we get to see the crit here. I've had to run this test several times because Cloud has this annoying way of reflexing things and you're still not guaranteed a crit with the lb or with the um the omni strike so here comes the lb let's see if we can land a crit so we can actually show it off on video and illustrate the point here it is 4750 so we did get the crit right there 4750 is about a five and a half percent increase in damage now you can see the other results for the crits on the screen right here and if we're talking about it you can really see the um the higher damaging attacks get a smaller return for critting so by switching to the crit glove right just straight up swapping from the assault gauntlet to the crit gauntlet without anything else considered you're lowering the floor for damage you can do by about 4%. Let's just round that up to a nice even 4%. It's actually 3.6 to 3.7. You are raising the ceiling significantly on auto attacks up to 18% and raising the ceiling pretty significantly on your bigger hitting attacks by about 5 to 6%. Okay, now we need to factor in the effects of critical attack up, which you can get from Esper's gear, vision cards. We're going to equip some critical attack up and see how much that actually plays into things here. Okay, now in order to add critical attack up, I'm going to do the thing I showed you earlier. I'm going to put uh, 2B's vision card in, so that will give critical damage up 25. And then I'm going to stack that with uh, Titus's necklace, which will give me critical damage up 15. I think these are both very accessible things to a lot of players. Um, but anyway, we're going to get, let, let's see, how much is that going to be total? That's critical damage up 25 plus 15, that's plus 40 critical damage up. So let's see how much that actually affects Tifa's critical damage when she hits Cloud. Okay, here we go. Let's start with an auto attack, see what kind of number we get. And there it is, there's the reflex, okay. Gonna go ahead and just hit wait about four times here. Yeah, okay, good job Cloud, reflex, reflex is even beating me when I'm playing by myself. Like, it's hard to imagine how OP Reflex actually is. Okay, here we go. 2298. So let me write that down. That 2298 was a 47% increase in damage over the Assault Gauntlet's basic non-critting attack and a 25% damage in the crit damage from the crit gauntlet's basic critical hit attack. So essentially adding the um, extra critical damage increased the crit damage of the basic attack by 25%. Now, I put the graph with the rest of the numbers on the screen for the LB and Omni Strike. Note that Cloud's HP has changed a little bit. I had to run the test multiple times because just having the crit gauntlet equipped does not guarantee you a crit. Sometimes she will still not crit, in which case you do less damage than the assault gauntlet that's what the lowered floor means but here are the numbers and let's go over them so the limit break did 5286 damage which is a 17.3 percent increase over the limit break with the assault gauntlets that did not crit um, it is also an 11.3% increase from the critical gauntlet's previous crit strike before we applied the crit damage up. So crit damage up seems to be a pretty decent thing, adding 539 damage to the limit break, right? With no other changes, just adding crit damage. Then you can see what the um, what the Omni Strike did, 54 no excuse me, 54.19, which is a 16.6% increase from the Assault non-crit and an 11.1% increase from the Critical Gauntlet's um, critical hitting attack. So, what kind of conclusions can we draw from this? All right, now I switched my background to the Near Automata Vision card because that's going to help me make my point. Let's start by just talking about the Kaiser Knuckle Crit and Kaiser Knuckle Assault like side by side. I actually think if you built the Crit version or you built the Assault version, you're going to be fine before you start thinking about adding critical damage up. What I mean by that is, like, you're, when, because you're not guaranteed to crit with the crit gauntlet, your floor is lower. If you wear the crit gauntlet and you do not crit, 
you do less damage. And that's just generically, that's obvious, that's always going to be the case. More attack guarantees you more damage, aka raises the floor. However, your ceiling does go up with the crit gauntlets. Crit increased yo, your basic attack by almost 20%, that's insane, and it increased your um, higher hitting moves by about 5%. So that's, that's give and take. Like, I don't think you're really going to care too much about those numbers. Those are really close. However, the difference came when you added the critical damage up for this test. All of a sudden now, the crit gauntlet really um, had potential to severely outperform the assault gauntlet. The, the floor is still lower because you can still not crit. And it happened to me in my test run once where I dropped the limit break and, like, it didn't crit. So I had to, like, start the video over. It's a pain in the ass. But... Your ceiling went up significantly. With the crit gauntlet and the bonus 40 crit damage, like you're looking at an 11 to uh, 11 to 18 percent increase in your higher damaging abilities. You know, with this Tifa punching this cloud, those numbers are going to change depending on like what stuff the enemy is running, etc. Like there's so many variables that just one test cannot definitely answer the question. But I think the question that these tests did answer is crit damage up matters. Like from the near automata vision card. Which is another reason that running 2B and Tifa with each other is such a powerful combo. Um, 2B, Tifa, excuse me, benefits a lot from the crit damage from 2B, especially if you're building for it by running that critical hit Kaiser Knuckle. Now, there is something else to consider here, and that's that the Assault Gauntlet is not guaranteed not to crit. You can crit with the Assault Gauntlet. In fact, in my first round of testing, I ruined my first take because I crit with, like, Omni Strike or something like that and had to start that filming session over. That will do the most damage. If you run crit damage up and the Assault Gauntlet, you still have a chance of critting, in which case you have more damage, you will do the most. So the floor is higher and the ceiling is higher with the Assault Gauntlet, but you have a higher chance of doing more damage with the crit gauntlet and critical attack up gear and vision cards. In this case, it was Titus's necklace plus the near automata BC. So what? Uh, there you go. There's the results of my test. Take from it what you will. If this helps you at all, I think what I am going to be running in my 2B and Tifa teams when I'm doing my videos, when I'm making more Tifa guides, is I'm going to run 2B and Tifa, and my Tifa is going to be equipping a critical hit uh, um, Kaiser Knuckle. So there you go. That's my recommendation. There's a chance I'll get unlucky and just not hit for a lot of damage, but I like my odds of hitting for that like 11 to 18% more damage with my skills. Because let's be real, like I don't care a whole lot about how much more damage my auto attacks do. And in fact, Tifa has a buff that boosts up her auto attacks into a higher hitting ability, which will in turn lower the effectiveness of crit and crit damage a little bit. There you go. Um, that's the video. Please leave any questions or comments in the um, question or comments in the comments section. That's sort of redundant, but there we are. I'm out of here. Uh, Fan Fest is tonight, so I got to get ready for that. I'll see some of you there. I'll catch you next time. Peace.